The Dragon Slayer quest is the quest that allows you to wear a rune plate body and green dragon hide body, and is probably the hardest free to play quest. To start the quest, you need to have gained 32 quest points. It's also helpful to have level 33 magic. If you don't, you will need an extra 10,000 coins to complete this quest. It's also recommended to have a decent combat level in order to defeat the level 83 dragon for which this quest is named. Hard to complete Dragon Slayer if you can't slay the dragon. You will also need to have a hammer, three planks, 90 steel nails, an unfired bowl, a wizard's mind bomb, which you can buy from the pub in Falador, a lobster pot, silk, an anti-dragon shield, which you can either get for cheap on the GE or from the Lumbridge Duke after the quest has started, an air rune and a law room, assuming you have 33 magic, and 2,000 coins. Once again, if you don't have 33 magic, make that 12,000 coins. I also recommend bringing a few Falador teleports, an anti-fire potion, and of course, your gear for battle. If you have a charged Amulet of Glory, that would be helpful for teleports to Edgeville and Draenor. The quest starts at the Champions Guild south of Varrock. Go inside and speak with the Guildmaster. Ask him, can I have a quest? He'll say yes, you can earn the right to wear the rune plate body. He doesn't actually say anything about what the quest actually entails, he just says go talk to Oziak in Edgeville, who will decide your quest. If you have an Amulet of Glory, you can use the Edgeville Teleport, or if not, you can walk there. Talk to him and ask, can you sell me a rune plate body? He's surprised that you know he has some, and then tell him, the Guildmaster of the Champions Guild told me. Oziak is apparently pretty tired of the Guildmaster sending people his way, and says to leave him alone. Say, I thought you were going to give me a quest. So he comes up with a task he doesn't think anyone will be able to complete. Slay the Dragon of Crandor. Say, a dragon? That sounds like fun. And Oziak is just impatient for you to get out of his face and says go talk to the Guildmaster if you have any questions. So return to the Champions Guild. Talk to the Guildmaster and tell him you talked to Oziak. You'll tell him Oziak assigned you to kill the dragon and the Guildmaster is a bit taken aback by this news. Apparently Crandor used to be a nice place, and then an adventurer woke the dragon and the dragon killed everybody, except for three wizards, and each of them had one piece of the only map to Crandor. When you get to this screen with all the questions, make sure you ask him every question or you can't move on with all the steps of the quest. As you go through the dialogue, you'll get a key to Milzar's maze where one of the map pieces is hidden, and finish talking through all the answers to the questions. When you're done talking, head back to the bank and grab some food and combat gear. Bring range or mage stuff if you want to safe spot the level 82 demon, your maze key and two Falador teleports, one to get there and one to get back, and then head to Melzar's maze. Enter the building, and then find the small zombie rat with the long tail and kill it to get a red key. Use the key to get through the red door to the northwest and climb up the ladder. Next, find the ghost that's wearing a hood and a tube top, if you can, and kill it to get an orange key. Then go through the middle orange door on the eastern wall and go up the ladder. To get the next key, kill the skeleton with the round shield and you'll get the yellow key. Now go through the southwestern door and follow the hallway south and east to climb down the ladder and down the other ladder and then down a final ladder to the west. Kill the zombies until you get a blue key. Now go through the blue door to the northwest. In this room, kill Melzar the Mad to get a purple key. And hurry through the purple door because he respawned pretty quickly. Okay, the last guy to kill is this demon. Lure him over to you, and then safe spot him from this spot I'm standing in. Grab the key he drops, and then go through the green door. Open and search the chest, and you'll get your first map piece. You can exit this way if you want, or just use your teleport to Falador. Head to the bank and grab stuff for the next section. 
You're going to need a wizard's mind bomb, unfired bowl, lobster pot, silk, and bring a Falador teleport for a quick return. Head to the top of Ice Mountain to find the Oracle. When you get there, tell her I seek a piece of the map to the island of Crandor. She'll tell you a rhyme about items you need to use on a door, but we already have them, so you don't have to worry about that. Go to the entrance of the Dwarven Mine. Head down the ladder and then run south and east to find a large magic door. Use each of your four items on the door and be careful to left click on the wizard's mind bob so you don't drink it. The door will then open and you can open the chest. When you open it, you'll get a warning from the wizard who put it there not to use it. The dragon is too dangerous and too powerful. Take the map piece anyway and then teleport back to Falador. At the bank, grab your two map pieces, a law rune and an air rune, a hammer, three planks, 90 steel nails, and 2,000 coins, and equip a ranged weapon ammo. If you don't have 33 magic, don't bring the runes and bring an extra 10,000 coins instead. Now head south to the Port Serum Jail. In the jail, you'll find a goblin named Wormbrain. If you have the level 33 magic, attack him with range and then cast Telegrab on the map piece he drops. If you can't cast Telegrab, talk to him and he'll sell you the map piece for 10,000 coins. With all three map pieces, use one of them on the other and you'll get a completed map to Crandor. Next head back to the dock in Port Serum. We need to get a boat. Talk to Clarence. He offers to sell us a broken ship. Tell him you'd like to buy her. Agree to pay the 2,000 coins and you are now the proud owner of the Lady Lumbridge. Go on board and climb down the ladder. Mouse over the southern side of the ship and you'll find a spot with an option to repair hole. You'll have to repair it three times to completely fix it. Okay, great. Our next stop is Draenor Village to find ourselves a captain. Make sure you have the map in your inventory, then go talk to Ned. Ask him, You're a sailor? Could you take me to Crandor? He takes a little convincing, but eventually he agrees, because YOLO. You'll give him the map, and now we're all set to leave. Now we just have to gear up for battle. Elvarg, the dragon, is weak to stab and ranged attacks, so I suggest using one of those two attack types. And don't forget your anti-dragon shield. If you're going to wear melee armor and attack with stab, I would definitely recommend getting some anti-fire potion if you can, because you're going to take extra damage because the dragon fire counts as a magic attack. Maybe even wear ranging gear because that gives you decent melee protection and magic protection. If you're attacking with range, make sure to use a crossbow instead of a regular bow because it's a one-handed weapon and you want to be able to equip your anti-dragon shield. Equipping either a ring of life or a ring of recoil would definitely be helpful as well. I would also recommend bringing a one-click emergency teleport just in case things don't go too well. And just to give you a reference point, I'm level 52 combat and with this gear setup I didn't really have any trouble at all defeating Elvarg. When you're all ready to go, head back to Port Serum to the boat you bought. Climb aboard and talk to Captain Ned. Tell him you're ready to go and we'll head off to Crandor. Everything seems to be going well, but then Ilvarg breathes some fire at us and the boat is on fire and oh no, we lost our cabin boy and we crash into Crandor. Okay, run north, then west, then north past the giants, east past the demons and south and go down the hole. Oh, there's the dragon. Okay. Head south past all the skeletons, and then on the eastern wall there'll be a bit that you can climb over. If you've brought any potions, you should drink them now. Climb over the wall, and okay, wow, that didn't take long. Here we go. Okay, she's dead. Ugh, you just ripped the head off then. Alright. 
Once you defeat Elvarg, all that's left is return to Oziak and Edgeville and finish the quest. Congratulations, you can now wear the rune plate body. Hey there, thanks for watching. I hope the guide helped you out. If it did, maybe hit the like button. And if you're interested in seeing any more cool guides in the future, maybe hit that subscribe button.